up guys, this is Shadow and welcome to VR Sunday! Today I got for you Zombie Training Simulator! Ta da! What is this? Well, it's a shooter game, as you can see, and you're training to survive in the case of a zombie apocalypse. So today we'll learn how to fight off the horde of the undead in a, well, shooty way. As you can see, in this game you're fighting zombie cardboard cutouts. So yeah, the worst thing that can happen is they can give you a paper cut, but hey, it's cool, it's a simulator, that's what it's supposed to do, right? So let's go to target practice first, so I can show you the ropes. Well, here we are. So first off, um, you got your controls, which are your two controllers here, and uh, you use the trigger buttons to equip weapons. We have a quite a nice selection of weapons here. Some are not unlocked yet, but we're getting close. We're getting close. So if you want a different weapon, just go there and grab with the trigger button, just like that, or maybe a shotgun. Hmm? Some weapons require two hands, like this one, or like double guns. There we go. And uh, yeah, basically you just point at shit and shoot. That's how easy it is. If you press the um, little uh, trackpad pad button on the back, you reload manually. Just like that. But of course, it reloads automatically if you empty your magazine. So this is the horde of the undead, these cute little cutouts of zombies. And uh, basically your best game is to shoot the head as in every zombie fiction. Like this. If you shoot any other body parts, they will fall off, of course, but it takes quite a lot to actually kill the zombie. Well, to be very specific, even if everything else is dead, the head will still come at you. So yeah, that's a bit weird, but okay, okay, so yeah. Um, different weapons have different kind of uh, penetration, so for example, let's give this a shot. The handgun penetrates one head, as you can see, while the shotgun penetrates ten heads. So yeah, that's the reason for different weapons. You can also go like two machine guns, there's quite a lot of variety you can uh, equip. It's pretty nice. The only thing that is missing for me is a bit of more uh, use of the vibration. It's like kind of subtle how it vibrates. I don't know if that is a limitation on these controllers, if they cannot vibrate more. But it would be cool to have a bit more feeling when you shoot these guns. It's very subtle. So yeah, let us now return to the main menu. And um, I'll show you what kind of game modes you have in this game. So, first off, we have skill tests. Skill tests are certain scenarios that are set up and are always the same. And it's about setting the best time, like a high score kind of thing. For example, let's go to um, bowling. That sounds like fun. Bowling, as you can see, is just a, uh, a set of, of zombies in like a bowling pin formation and you have to eliminate them as fast as you can. So let's go, let's see how fast we can do this. There's a high score, my best time was 13.035, so let's see, we can beat that. Let's go. Well, three, four, three. We beat our high score. Very nice. So yeah, these are just kind of little trials that you can do. They're pretty, pretty interesting. 
There's also some, uh, just go into the menu real quick, like the crow's foot, that's uh, a fun little scenario where like four zombies are placed around you, like one is there, one is there, one is there, and you have to shoot them like in the quickest fashion. It's pretty wild, you know, like quick draw, bam, bam, bam. It's really cool. Um, let me go back and show you the other game mode, which is survival. I think it's the main draw of this game. Um, and it's exactly what it says. It's surviving waves and waves of zombie. Oh, I think they added a new level, Alley. I haven't played that one. Let's see. It says expert, but we're kind of good. So, yeah. All right, looks nice. Um, first off, there is different kinds of zombies as well in this game. As you can see, there's like crawling zombies that are on the floor, which you need to aim a bit different. There's also like zombies with trash cans on their head, like armor. And there's these guys, the chefs. There's um, they're pretty special. As you can see, we have a bit more arsenal now here. We have grenades. Just throw them like that. You pick them up with the trigger button, you hold the trigger button, and then you release it. Just like throwing a grenade. Pretty nice. And you also have meat. If you throw meat, it will attract zombies and they will start to eat it. And these idiots, the chefs, will eat it in one bite. So just try to uh, get them away from your meat. That's very important. Also, gas canisters, you shoot them to get a big-ass explosion. Right, can we turn on the radio? Pull the trigger. All right, touchpad. I want music. Give me music. It does not work. Well, anyways. All right, I'm ready. Let us begin by shooting this zombie. Boom, wave one. At the beginning, they always come at you a little, well, slow. But then bigger waves start to come. And you see these, there's also guys like on hoverboards, they're extremely fast. Or what are these, segways? Let's throw a meat over there. And there we go, it attracts them, like that. Now we, of course, can do this. There we go. Wave two. Each wave, all your resources here reset. So use them. Use them every time if you can. As you might notice, aiming with the second gun is actually quite difficult. Also cool, if you do this motion... <laughs> Ninja Sword! It's like the best weapon in every zombie game, isn't it? And the best thing... You can have two! Yes! I'm a ninja! Whoa! <laughs> Alright, let's try to survive! Come at me! So basically, if these zombies touch you, you're dead. So you need to be on your feet. Come on! Ah, there we go. <laughs> so, two swords is extremely fun, but it's not very strong, as you can imagine. <laughs> Let's try a different level and I'll show you like a special mod this game has, which is, oh, would almost be creepy if it wasn't zombie cutouts, but real zombies. Let me go back. Let's change up weapons. Like, uh, oh yeah. That's more like it. So this game features kind of a hardcore mode, so to speak. It's, uh, like this. Oh yeah, fucking darkness. And as you can see, you have flashlights on your weapons. 
So just imagine this game with real freaking zombies running at you. That would be creepy as hell. So let's go for another survival. Let's do another expert. Sky hole. I don't think I have seen this either. I'm not quite sure. Ooh. Okay. That is cool. So let's start. Let's see how good we are at surviving in zombie apocalypse. You can also see there's like tons of these propane tanks already lying on the floor. So these reset, I think, each round as well. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. If you don't do anything, you, you'll, if you don't see them if you don't have your flashlight on them. That's pretty creepy. <laughs> Die, motherfucker, die! Oh, yeah. Also, nice feature. Every time the round restarts, it reloads your weapons. I like that. Because I would be the dumbass who forgets to reload the weapon. Oh, God. Oh, look, that's a banjo player. A banjo zombie will attract zombies as long as he's playing. So, use these. Lead them to the, to the meat and... Blow him up! Come on! You wretched little maggots! There's more where that came from! Yeehaw! <laughs> as stupid as these zombie cutouts look, it, it's still so... You know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's very immersive, but that's just the VR goggles. Even though it's stupid zombies, you feel like almost kind of threatened by these things. Oh god! <laughs> Speaking of which... <laughs> go away! Go eat the meat! Yes, good little zombie! Oh, the... You have to be kind of careful with your propane tank. Sometimes it launches the meat at places you don't want it to land. Go away! Leave me alone! <laughs> oh god, I don't see anything. Bonk! That's also pretty cool. You can whack him with your weapon. So basically you don't need the samurai swords. You can do it like that. <laughs> but hey, it looks much cooler with a samurai sword, right? Right. Ooh, I should also use grenades. I have grenades, you know. Eat those grenades! Have more meat! It's all you can eat today! Well, all you can eat but me. I'm off, off the menu. Oh god. The thing is, they go behind me for some reason, but they can't get me from there because there's a table. Well, I guess in this zombie simulator, the zombies are quite dumb. Bonk. <laughs> you can get a closer look at them like this. It's pretty nice. Hello. Bang, bang. Where is... Whoa! Oh, shit! <laughs> okay! Oh, God! That was kind of scary. <laughs> uh. More zombies! Will they ever learn? Well, probably not, because they don't have a brain anymore. Or do they? No, if they would, they would eat themselves, right? That's the reason they come for humans, because they have brains and zombies don't. Oh, God! Oh, God. <laughs> you have died. Ah, my brain got eaten by zombies. Well, too bad, I guess. Let me turn on the light again. There we go. Much better. Whew. All right. So this has been Zombie Simulator. Zombie Training Simulator. And uh, I have been Shadow. If you like this video, Subscribe, leave a comment, do whatever you like. 
and I'll see you next week for the next VR Sunday. <laughs>